What's up my viewers, welcome back to the channel, continue to like, share, comment and subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We are still on the road to 20k subscribers before the Christmas season kick in. So right now my viewers, we have Wally Pop update for you on another one. Here. So stay tuned, kick back, relax, grab a cup of coffee and make we get into it. Three men in custody over Kingston gun and ammo seizure. Two illegal firearms including a rifle. And 36 assorted rounds of ammunition were seized during a joint police military operation along Williams Road, Kingston 5 on Friday night. The police report that about 10.30pm, members of the security force were on duty when a motor vehicle was stopped and searched. The police say they found a Marco Jaco rifle and a magazine containing 22 7.62 rounds of ammunition, a Beretta pistol with a magazine containing 12 9mm rounds, and an additional 2 9mm rounds were found in the pocket of one of the suspects, according to the police. All three men were taken from the vehicle and taken into custody. Yeah, man, my viewers, right there, so right there. We love how oh, the police them I get rid of the 87 them off high street. Yeah man, we love how the police them are do them diligent duty, you know? Get some of the 87 them off high street, man. Too much knockings and clappings in these times, man. Every day you hear see another person lose them life all because of the crazy knockings and clappings who are going. So right, we like when the police them do them do. Them do it to you. Yes, viewers. So leave some comment in the comment section. Gun sees a man arrested in Spanish Town traffic stop. A man was arrested by the police in Spanish Town St. Catherine this morning following the seizure of an illegal gun during a traffic stop. The police report that about 11.30 a.m. A team was on an operation in the Elistapen area when a Nissan Tida motor car was signaled to stop. The driver obeyed. The police say the vehicle was searched and a loaded 9mm pistol was found inside the vehicle. His name is being with, withheld pending further, further investigation. Some of you has. The brother here. Vehicle gets stopped. And he have something illegal inside the vehicle. And he never disappear him stop. But believe it or not in my viewers. He knows say he have something illegal in the vehicle. And him still stop and make the police him search him and find it. But anyway, my viewers, it is what it is. It go the best way. Because somebody could have lost them life or somebody has already lost them life. So right to know my viewers. Reggae month. Yeah man, you don't know Reggae Month in you know, Instagram page. Reggae Month, J-A. Instagram page, act. Yeah man, so hackers take over Reggae Month IG page. Demand ransom. Cyber hackers have taken over the culture minister Reggae Month Instagram account. The portfolio minister, Olivia Bugsy Grange, made the disclosure in a post on Twitter this morning. Green said the hackers are demanding a ransom for the release of the account. <laughs> Boy, I'm a viewers all account to people in my whole ransom, you know. And I demand money. I would Jamaica come to my viewers. 
Please discard all communications from the account until further notice, she said. A check of the page shows that it has over 45,000 followers, is used by the minister to promote cultural events. So them wanna be dirty corner boy. Decide say them want to take the minister page for ransom before them go look some work. Them should have linked the minister for your job instead of your try. Ack. But anyway, my viewers, leave some comments in the comment section. St. Mary Highgate Market destroyed by fire. An electrical fire this morning gutted the Highgate Market in St. Mary, head of the St. Mary Police Division Superintendent. Bobbitt Morgan Simpson told the Gleaner that no arson is suspected. She stated that the preliminary information has indicated that the faulty wiring played a role in the blaze. She said investigations is ongoing and investigators are currently at the scene. The blaze destroyed dozens of stall crippling the livelihood of several vendors who were slowly recovering from the pandemic. The fire started shortly after 4 a.m. and quickly spread throughout the market. Boy, my viewers, may I tell you, say, yo, COVID mash up a whole heap of people. And the people them just at it, them little time, a rebuild. And me are telling the boy if yeah, something like this could go on right now, my viewers. It's very boy, I mean I know my viewers, but it's shocking my viewers, cause I don't know how some people are gonna recover or make it back from that type of loss yeah. But viewers, you are continue to give you the updates as soon as it becomes possible. Alert residents disarm gunman after attack at a bar in Westmoreland. An eye point Luger pistol with a magazine containing three 9mm cartridges was handed over to the police by a citizen after an incident at a bar in Darlington, Westmoreland, on Thursday, July the 14th. Reports from Savlamar police are that about 9.30 p.m., a lone 87 approached another man and pulled something from the waistband. The other man grabbed that firearm that was pulled on a tussle in shore, during which the 87 was disarmed and ran from the bar and escaped in the nearby bushes. The police were summoned and upon their arrival, the firearm was handed over to them. Investigation into the matter continue. Continue to like, share, comment and subscribe.